Hello, hello, my crafty family. It's Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal. And Bill. We are so happy to be here. We had a lot of errands we were running today. So we already getting thumbs up and we've been on here for like two seconds. <laughs> How are y'all doing? Margie was here waiting. Well, thanks, Margie. It's good to be waited on. Bill, did you say hi? Hi. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep, so we're getting set up here. And I thought I'd get my stamping out. My stamp blocks out. They actually need to be clean, too. Look at that, y'all. Hey, the life of a crafter, right? I'm not afraid to show y'all my dirty blocks. I need to go ahead and wash those real good, too at some point. And I'm just gonna get some scrap papers here, some card stock so I could stamp out some fun stuff on here. Just have some stamping fun. I'm just kinda, just kinda situating myself here. Oh, welcome everyone, I see all of you. I was gonna say, I see all these lovely faces. <laughs> I see all these lovely words going up. Can y'all hear me okay? The lighting should be great because it's bright and sunny in my craft room today. And you know what? I got to be honest with y'all. I have not really been in the craft room too much. We've kind of been doing a whole lot of, you know, taking care of some family things and just, just being kind of, you know. Yep, so we've been really busy. So if you sent me a message and I hadn't gotten back to you like right away, um, yeah, we just sometimes you just got to take care of family things and we got a lot of life stuff happening. So, but we wanted to come on today. Bill said, let's go live. And I said, okay, let's do it. I did and say so, that. And so here we are. Because when he said, let's go live, I was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Happy Thursday, everyone. You can hear me. Amethyst Labeat is on here. <clears throat> Donna Satterley is here. Donna Satterley. She says your puddle bug is waiting for you when you go to your P.O. box. Okay, great. Then I need to, we need to take a trip over there, too. We actually are going to be going out a little bit later today. So we it's on the way to the postal, the post office that has our P.O. box. And, um... We'll, um, yeah, we'll go go ahead and head over there because I can't wait to get my gift, Donna. I'm sorry I hadn't gotten back to you. We've just been so busy. Today we took my mom to her appointment and took her to get some groceries, get her out of the house. So you got to take care of family stuff, y'all. Remember that. Hey, Lisa Christian, we are doing good. We're taking it day by day. Um, we're just so thankful, just thankful for life, thankful for all of you, and um, I'm going to have some stamping fun today. I just exactly. thought we'd just come on and do something fun, right? So I'm just getting some paper ready so I can do some stuff. So y'all see me do, <laughs> y'all are seeing everything in real time, right? Because how else can you be but real in front of your crafty friends, right babe? That's it. Yep. So I thought that I would just uh, kind of do some stamping using my um, using our stamp our stamp sets. So for those of you that have gotten your stamp sets, awesome, awesome. I'm going to be creating some patterns. So here's the birthday stamp set. And so a lot of times I like to take some of the smaller images and create patterns out of them. So I'm looking through some of these. Ah, uh, yes, the butterfly stamp set. Let me go ahead and see what I can do with this. Creating patterns. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stamp this out in color. Let's see. Look at these, y'all. Look how yummy these look. <laughs> look at this. This Wait. is like a crafter's dream. Look at this buffet of color. 
You know. You make it sound like you could eat it. I know, right? Well, you know, I did it's have like yummy. I did have some key lime pie. This looks a lot, lot like the key lime pie I had, didn't it? It's called pear tart. So let's start with that. Right? And I'm going to stamp this little butterfly image out in color. This one right here. That's why I made it like this was so that you can stamp it out in color. All right? It's the silhouette of a butterfly. And so if you wanted to, here's what you can do with this. Oh, I'm not going to dip it in this ink. Let me cover this up. I'm not going to use this yet. I'm going to use the colored ink and make some patterns. Let's make sure I'm in the screen here. Bill, am I in the camera there? Looks like it, right? Yeah, you use your small um, stamps. I know and you, some of y'all probably do this, but I thought it might be nice to do it live and do some stamping with. And I had not been in my craft room for a couple of days now. So I'm really missing it. I need to get back in here. Hey, Tracy. Look at this, babe. Asia said, are you gonna give her some Mother's Day card ideals? That's a good, I don't know, because our time has been so limited lately, Asia. So we, um, we're behind, we're like, I'm not afraid to admit that we're we're way behind. We're just kind of taking it each day at a time. Um, yeah, but I, want to but I do jump have some. Now. I, just have to, I do yeah. have a few um, older video card ideas, but I could come up with a Mother's Day card idea. Yes, I sure can. Because I haven't been in my craft. We've been busy. I mean, really busy. Ripping and running, me and Bill. So... Um, I think I can squeeze. Oh, I could think I could squeeze one in. Hi, so Brian. Now, now I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this right here. This is the outline. I want you to see this. This is the outline of the butterfly stamp. And some of you may uh, be wondering, what on earth do I do with that stamp? Let me show you. Now you can take this, right? This is meant to be colored in if you want it to be colored in. It's the really tiny one. It's really tiny. So let me show you what you can do with that. You're just creating patterns, right? So I'm just going to take this now and look. It doesn't have to be lined up exactly. Oh, that one actually came out pretty good. <laughs> that lined up exactly, right? And now you're creating a little outline. So for those of you that have this stamp, this is the Spread Your Wings stamp set. Lots of things you can do with this. And if you want, you can skip. You can do one that has the outline and then one that just is plain without the outline around it. Yep. Look at that. So it's how do, cute. what do y'all think about that? And I was thinking about this. When I'm away from my craft room, it's like I think about all these ideas when I'm not in the action of actually crafting, I, I'm still thinking about crafting. I don't know if y'all understand me when I say that. Some of you may go through the same thing when you're actually, you're thinking about, hey, what if I took this and mixed it with this? I can't say that I've experienced that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, you probably have, okay? The non-crafty person that you say you are, but you are quite crafty. So you see how you put those patterns together on there? Now you have like something to for your card or to put it on a card base, whatever you want to do, right? And you could put your sentiment on that too. And you can put juice on there too. Sparkle juice. You can <laughs> you can do that too, babe. Let's see. Let's go ahead and use Bill's idea. I think that's a great idea, babe. I'll probably put it on after I got it on the card. Oh, that's the background, though, isn't it? This is the background for the card. You can do that and just, in. you can do a bunch of these, right? Let it dry and then do it. It's up to you. But I want to show you, so I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Oh, well, let's put it on the card base, I guess. Let me just put this on a card base real quick, so then I'll, and then we'll go ahead and, and do that. So y'all still with me? Using your stamps to create patterns. The pattern is in there. You just have to look for it. It doesn't have to be the smaller ones either. It could be the larger ones. 
but just have fun with it. I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to bring it in closer, the patterns closer together. All right, and then if you do want to use some of the sparkle juice, as <laughs> Bill, sparkle juice actually, Bill is confusing y'all. What sparkle juice is, it's the stickles. <laughs> But y'all have been calling it sparkle juice. I'm using the diamond stickles, right? And I'm just going to take a little bit. And you could either just kind of go put a little bit maybe in here. Whatever you want to do, really. So what are they saying on here? I can't read the comments. So, And I hear Bill typing. Yep. So I hope y'all are having a great day today. We are having a lovely day, just kind of enjoying the weather and went by to, to uh, check on my sister and my brother-in-law, saw them for a little bit, took my mom by there too. It's always fun to hang out with my mom and she likes to show us some of her projects that she's crocheted, right babe? Yep. Oh, Penny Burns said at 2.30 this morning. I was awake and watching your video Aww. where Bill was making embellishments. I really enjoy seeing him having fun with you. Oh, well, thank you. We, we do have fun, don't we, babe? Yes. You kind of hesitated with that. What's, what's up with that? <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> ah, so now you see what you're doing. You're mixing. You're creating a pattern here, right? And these are, I'm going to have to let this dry for a little bit. But now I've got like a card base and all I have to do is add some sentiments or an image to it. Add a flower to it. It's just up to you. Harvest Center for Birmingham says, what brand do you use in glitter glue? Um, this, oh, this is Ranger. This is the Ranger um, stickles. Yeah, that's what it's actually yep. called. It's Ranger stickles. Oh, let me. Ranger glitter. Ranger stickles. Glitter, glitter glue. Is what it's called. <laughs> That's what it's called. Yeah. Just putting a few more in here. This is fun. But the glue, the other glue is called art glitter glue. Oh yeah, that's the regular. Yeah. Glue for paper crafters. Look at that. I don't. Y'all don't really get to see this, like how I can see it. Let's see. Let's turn it a little bit. Adding some dimension to that. I like butterflies. So I know, how do I get stitching on here? I can't wait. I'm not going to wait till it dries. So I'm going to be very careful. So that dark line really plays off of the outline of the butterfly. But when I told Bill what, what we were going to we're going to do live, we, I just said I'm just going to use the stamp sets and create some patterns. Um, Tasha wants to know. What do you use to clean your stamp blocks? Uh, no, let's see. I usually clean. put the stamp blocks. Yeah, some I, you use soap and water, some yeah. use baby wipes. Or... I use baby wipes. I've never used soap and water yet, but I think they're getting to the point. As much as I use these, I try to wipe them off like immediately, but I notice now it's starting to get a little bit dirty. So I'll probably um, just go ahead and, and use some soapy water. And that would require me removing my blocks from the craft room. They never go outside the craft room, do they, babe? Oh, well, sometimes on the kitchen table. Okay, so you see that pattern there? Just using that butterfly? I want to bring it closer together now. What if we just used it? Let's do another color, right? And bring it even closer together. And I want to stamp this out on colored paper to see what it looks like, because I've never done that before. I'm trying new stuff, y'all. You are. <laughs> you can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> oh, you're funny, babe. I was pretty brave saying that, wasn't Yes, you were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about that. <laughs> so, let's see. Bill, what color should I? Blue. Uh, you know what? I had a feeling... <laughs> That you were going to say blue. If you ask, the answer will always Ooh, look be look at this that. Bahama blue. This is going to be nice. This is going to be nice. Let's see what it looks like in the Bahama blue. 
Let's see. Ooh, that looks nice, babe. See, I'm keeping my patterns a little bit closer together. Well, and some of you might not. I'm not spacing this, and I'm not like, you know, it doesn't have to be like perfect, right? Because we don't do, we don't do perfect. Well, the lint said she tried Lysol wipes on one of her stamp sets, not yours, and it made them turn pink. Never again. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, That's probably why you use unscented and stuff like that, huh? Well, I just use, you know, just the, I just use the unscented wipes, uh, fragrance free. Uh, some people said there's a lint free one. So you see what I'm doing with these patterns. I like this blue, babe. I thought you would. This is somewhat therapeutic. I'm liking this. Let's see, put some right down there. Bring it up to the edge there, right? So my pattern is becoming, and you can cut this into strips, add it to another card, put some uh, mounting tape underneath it. You would like that, babe, to give it some dimension. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, so now you can cut these into strips and add them to another uh, card base. Just have fun with this, okay? It's all about having fun. Tracy, we've all been telling Brian Dickey to get well. He, uh oh. He has pneumonia, I think. Oh, man. He's in the hospital. But he, oh, he's wow. You're watching us from the hospital? Yeah. Get well, please. We're going to be praying for you. Wow, Brian. We need to have you well and crafting again. Exactly. And get some rest, though. Bill and I were feeling uh, pretty run down and tired uh, this past weekend. Um, just found ourselves taking lots of naps, you know. Bill, look at this. Samuel says, hi, received my stamp set Saturday. The quality is phenomenal. We'll definitely buy again. Wow. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. We are... Um, really trying. We're working hard on our end to make sure you get... By the way, once again, what ink are you using with that stamp, Tracy? This is the Memento ink. These are actually um, the Dewdrop inks. So I like Memento inks because they come in, like, if you get the Dewdrop inks, they come in a pack of 12. So I just keep them in here so I can just kind of see all of them. This is this is my storage solution for right now. But they, they come in a 12 pack. So if, especially if you're a new to card making and stamping. If you get to, if you can get 12 different colors in a pack, rather than, it's so much more economical. It kind of jump starts. You know? Yeah, it's kind of a jump start for sure. So these are the Dew Drop, Memento Dew Drop inks. Uh, Don Felix says, do you ever re-ink your little Memento inks? I've never had to re-ink them yet. I've had these for maybe about three, maybe about two and a half years now. So, so far, I haven't. 957 says, do the inks dry fast? Uh, they dry pretty fast, yeah. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. I'm just, this is like therapy right now. Just this, <laughs> seeing what happens, you know, on paper. Maxine K from the University of Kentucky is here. Oh. Actually, hey, Maxine. United Kingdom, you know. That. Oh, UK. <laughs> y'all still me. going on with that, huh? Did you guys see my shirt? I got a shirt. It says, uh, it was from, um, what was it, Oh So Crafty? Yep. I think Oh So Crafty is on here, right? Oh my now. goodness, I from, love that it's shirt. It's from Lee, Lee, right? <laughs> it was phenomenal. It says, uh, 10,000 years from now. <laughs> Lee, is Lee on here, Oh So Crafty? I don't I'm know. gonna ask her what she used to make it. It, I posted a, t a picture of Bill. Um, yes, also crappy is on here. I posted a picture of Bill um, wearing the t-shirt in the group, in the crafters group, in our Facebook group. And they're loving it, Bill. It's hilarious because they know one of your sayings are <laughs> when you use a whole lot of glitter glue, art glitter glue, you're like, 10,000 years from now. <laughs> I know and I thought that was just genius, her turning that in. She gave us a couple of nice little gifts. She gave us the 
the cozies and stuff. I'm trying to think where is she? See what she used to make those from. Krista Cobb saw it, saw it too. So you see how I'm, I'm now I'm bringing oh. these I'm bringing these closer together to create a different pattern there. Look at that. That's awesome. So all you have to do is just you know, just use your imagination on those. Okay, let's see what else we can create. Now, also Crafty says it's heat transfer vinyl. She used her cricket. Okay, I figured it was the cricket. Yeah. All right. Nice. Marsha Freeman says, is that the same ink you use for petals to make a flower? Uh, yes, that is. Yep. Matter of fact, that is, uh, there's a video that I've made. I made petals, um, flower petals using this ink by just continuously stamping. I think I sent that card out to somebody too. I sure did. Gina Cawley says, she has a problem. I have 25 plus paper pads and I Ooh, keep buying more. Don't. I have card blanks, <laughs> card toppers, embellishments, etc. Et oh my goodness. But I just can't put them together. I just can't get my head around it. Can I answer Gina? Tracy? Uh huh? Let me answer that question. Gina, this is what you do. Of course you can answer the question. Put your paper pads out or your, your, your card toppers, whatever it is. You can either close your eyes, blindfold yourself, whatever you have to do. You reach out and you grab two or three of them. Don't even look. Don't just kind of. <laughs> or get your little niece or nephew who's three, four, five years old and, and just say, hey, pick out three papers, put them on the table. Now get two of those, three of these, and throw them on the table. We don't care what the colors are, if they match or nothing. And once they're on the table, that is it. You just go you for have it. to use those just and go nothing for it, else. Right? Yeah. Period. That'll jumpstart your stuff, trust me. <laughs> because you have no choice but to deal with the, the hand you're given. Yep, you're just working with what you have. And sometimes we need that extra little push to use whatever we have. That's all it takes sometimes. So let's see, I'm going to go ahead and stamp out something else. I want to see what this looks like on colored paper. Oh, man. Also, Kathy says... Uh, in 10,000 years, that was a saying of her dad's too. He would say, in 10,000 years, when, when we were praising with God, I actually found y'all on YouTube last August when he passed away. Oh, well, I'm so glad you found us. I am too. What a talent you have and a blessing too, so. Yeah, Jane, and I want to see. It's, her package is still in customs in the Netherlands. They better release oh, wow. that package. Tell them to release that. For four days. Tell them that Tracy and Bill, <laughs> like that's going to matter, right? Tracy and Bill from YouTube said, <laughs> okay, I was going to use my cutter, but I'm good. I'm going to use this right here. Now I'm going to take this. Look, I'm sounding like you, Bill. Now. <laughs> I don't want to say that. It's just in you, babe. So you now, now you can take colored paper and just stamp them, stamp your own pattern on the colored paper. Maybe and I'm stamping eight, this in black ink. Says 87 people watching and 15 thumbs up. What? Hit that thumbs up button. That's, <laughs> that's what Mimi B says. There you go. Thank you, Mimi B. And you don't even have to cut. If you don't want to cover the whole paper, you don't have to. I'm just doing it to create a pattern. If you want to kind of spruce up your paper a little bit, right? Just do some stuff. Oh, Cinnamon goes to the to the vet today for his checkup, his yearly checkup. They're probably going to tell me. He doesn't know that, though. He doesn't. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> He'll but love the car what? ride, though. But when he gets in the car ride, when he heads that way, he even knows. Though it's not often, he kind of knows when yeah, he gets does, a certain point. How does he know that? He just <laughs> he has a certain agitation. You can tell he's like, "Oh no!" They tricked me again because oh, he likes car no. rides, but then he's like, "Not this one." Though. Yeah, he doesn't like this car ride. One time he went and when he came out. He was so punch drunk from uh, I guess whatever they gave him, putting him to sleep, and because I think he had to have a tooth pulled or something. Tracy almost started crying when he was. Because he could look so... My little gooby looks so <laughs> out of it. 
Bill, you look teary eyed too. Hey, he's like I Tracy. <laughs> he's like Tracy started so crying. <laughs> look at that. This is so. It is. Cute. Hey, Jackie Reynolds, how are you? It's Jackie Reynolds. Hi, Linda Jones. We just create having fun and creating some pattern stamping on paper. And I'm using the ooh, speak about gooby. Look, I, I would use these as like dog prints. Oh yeah, you right? could. Okay. But do that. Make make some dog hands. Since Gooby's going to the doctor. Make some dog. You no, know, you can actually have him do something and have the dog Look. walk it over to it. I could use him and create a little background, right? Use the dog. I call him Wag. <laughs> I could use the dog and use the little paw prints, right? No one's gonna say, oh, that's not a dog print. <laughs> Oh, maybe they will. Oh, no, I'm going to use the one that I can color in. Let's use this one. Yeah. Yeah, let's use this one. Okay. So, what are people saying? Loopy is here. You can use an L. <laughs> a dog tur. A vet is a dog tur. <laughs> Krista, <laughs> Krista over here Krista with the jokes, not. with the jokes. Okay, so let's start it. Let's get a pattern up in the corner here, right? Dr. German says she's got an Echo Pico, Pico shelf healing mat. First, I thought it said Erector said. E Echo. E Echo Pico self healing mat. But you can't say that a hundred times real fast. I can say one time. I know. <laughs> talking about. <laughs> Let's do some. And I kept trying to say here. that the people on this live would probably come and beat me off of it. Yes, sir. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> ah. Okay, and you could do the regular going this way type dog prints. I'm just going to keep them up in the corner here. And then who says that your dog prints? have to be black or brown. I'm going to color mine in. Peggy Laurie says... Hey, Peggy Laurie. Hi, Peggy. She says, Mamie announced that you will be at the next Mamie Con. What? Our secret is out. You are. <laughs> no, we, we're just kidding. Um, but no, we're not kidding. We are going to be at the next Mamie Con. There you go. We're going to Mamie Con 2020, y'all. Well, there you go. We met Peggy for the first time face to face at Made She was the first person we met. Yep. So me and Bill. It's so me and Bill will be at the next Made Con, aren't we, Bill? Yes. Yep. Don't ask me what I'm teaching People yet. Are saying what is that? Made Con is a a craft event taught by crafters for crafters. So we'll be teaching classes, craft classes. And there'll um, be a ton of And there are going to be just... like lots of activities going on. Um it's let's incredible. See. Yeah, it is. We did last September we went to Made It Con. We actually, a lot of people saying where well, you know what it's gonna be in Alabama. It'll be in Alabama. When we get all the information, we'll put it on here. But the yeah, last one we went to, man, we had so many people coming from all over the place just to see us. I was shocked. We, there were people who drove 18, 20 hours from deep in Canada in a caravan. Right. People from Oklahoma, uh, California, Just, Arizona. Yeah, Canada. They drove out of Tennessee. Uh, Florida. Just. It was just amazing. Yeah, Kentucky. People just flew in, and I was just like, wow. The real wow. Kentucky. <laughs> the real Kentucky. It was, it was so many people. It was so much fun. So, yep. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. It's of official. Bill and Tracy are coming to Made It Con. <laughs> we'll be in Alabama. People are saying they want to go. We'll get the information. And as we know about it, we have a way to go. There's actually a website. Um, there is a website that they shared with me. What I'll do is I will share the website because they're updating everything. Yeah, once everything is updated. Yeah. I don't want to. Uh, keep giving you a bunch of 
incomplete information. But there's going to be a lot of other crafters there. Um, some other crafters you might follow on YouTube uh, will also be there. And I think it's around next April or something, right? Yes, April 2020. Yes, yeah, so, so, so well, I'll put about. the link. There is a link with the information um, on it. Yep. <laughs> Can you do one in the in the UK, please? <laughs> yes, I'll put that video down there. Um, we'll put the video in the description. Yeah, we sure will. At the end of this. So it, it's out. <laughs> it's Cajun Sunshine. Hey, Pat. How you doing? Look at that. That's the dog prints. And if you want to do the other kind of dog print, you know, the ones that look like they're... Well, let, me, let me just show you, right? <laughs> let me just do it. You know which ones I'm talking about. It looks like the dog is stepping here and there. That kind of thing. We had so much fun, and I think I, did I teach. Well, I taught a bunch of classes last time. I don't remember how many, but we, we had a good. Lot. We had such a we had good time where people we were all in there sharing. Uh, we were talking about the correlation between crafting and real life and acceptance. That's like when I was talking about just pulling out some of the cards and the items and. You know, only using that because you have to accept whatever you're given in life. And then we start sharing stories and all of a sudden the people we were all in there crying. We were in tears, weren't we? Tears. It was happy tears. It Just, was a great class. I'm it, telling it you. It was so. fun. It was fun. Yeah, it was a different kind of class. We, we had don't a good, teach like ordinary people. Yeah, it was we were, you know, a lot of people left inspired and motivated and, and that's what you want, you know? <laughs> Taz Holder says Bill is gonna have a class. Bill the crafter. <laughs> well you know what, Taz? Here's the thing, and what was really interesting at the last uh, at, at an event we were at like that, in all honesty, I was Tracy's helper, mm. and I helped an awful lot of people because I kind of know what I just know. I've, well, you, I've, I've edited well, so many edited videos. You've about 100. Uh, uh, about, about 700 videos. Uh, 700 edited, crafty videos. I've watched. It's talked about. I'm on these lives. It didn't matter what we were trying to do, whether it was those books, anything. Yeah. It's Kathy Sargent. Hey, Kathy. How are you? You see me correcting my little mess up there, right? Because I don't like throwing stuff away. <laughs> Leslie Fairclaw. She says, hi, hey, Leslie. in the UK. I'm glad to see you back on crafting. I love your stamp yeah. set. Such great quality. I have oh. a couple of them. Just need to get the rest now. Laugh out loud. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Yeah, it's good to be back in the saddle. We've been out for a second. Uh, yep. Yeah, I, 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 feel, I feel like I need to just, we need to just come back pounding and, and do ordinary things. Not to say this is ordinary, it's actually extraordinary. <laughs> but I like my ordinary to be extraordinary. Why? Because I can. There you go. That's the reason why. <laughs> because you can, huh? It's a conscious decision. Yep, so trying to get back to what normal, whatever that may be, right? Jessica McKenzie says that she loves the Paul stamps. Isn't that the cutest thing? And that that's why you can use this for, you know, no one's going to be like, that's not a bunny paw. Oh. That's not a dog paw. That's a such and such paw. <laughs> They're not going to say that. Let's see. Let's go ahead and stamp this out. I'm going to stamp and color. I'm going to stamp and color um, Wag the Dog. This is the, this one is from the birthday stamp set. Right? Just have fun. Diane 57 says, will that crafting con ever be in Texas? I think the first one they had was in Texas. Yeah, it looks like the first one they had. I didn't get to go to that one. But I heard it was so much fun, and I said if they ever have another one and invite me, I would go to that to the next one. And that was the one that was in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And we had a ball, didn't we, babe? Yeah, we did. Amy Fuente says, "I think it's beautiful." Bill gets involved. My love tries, and those those little ideals and shops, and and he he goes with her to Michaels and stuff. Oh, nice. Well, you know what? That's a start. It is a start. That's a start, right? 
what you have to tell yourself is this. Look, I want to spend this moment with the person that I love. Oh. I want to actually be engaged and see what makes her happy. Not what's making me happy because I want her to be happy. I remember when I first met Tracy. Now, after a long line of dating and this and that, I tell people all the time. I a say, long line? Let me okay, stop. Let's, <laughs> no, that's all right. We'll get that part of the story, <laughs> okay? But the main point I'm trying to make is, for the first time in my life, I found myself saying not only, uh, oh, my God, uh, she makes me feel good. I used to always say, oh, she makes me feel so good. But Tracy, I said, I feel so good when I'm with her. Oh. And it was a it was a different sort of revelation. So that's how come even like the crafting, I want to know. I get so much insight into watching what she does, how she colors, how she puts the stamps together, uh, just everything. And I get happy just um, showing you my stuff, you know? I really do. Amy Fruitsch says, oh my God, that's what he said. That, that's it. That's yep. exactly what it is. Right, and and why not? Especially if it's a person that you love, you want to know what their interest is. What what makes them tick? I know Bill loves music, and um, I encourage him to do his music. You know, he has a piano course that we pay for monthly, and I want him to keep that because that's his thing. That's the thing that he loves. So just like he encourages me, um, I I want to encourage him too. That's that's basically. What married life is all about, right? There you go. You don't. You're not changing the person, but um, hopefully encouraging the, them to be better. You know, not perfect, but be better, right? Because no one's perfect. And so, yep, that's my honey cake sugar plum. Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm just I'm just coloring y'all. I want I love this darker blue, babe. Look at this shade. This shade of blue. Isn't that the cutest? Oh, it is. It is. And I'm using my tumbo markers, my to color him in. Wag is so adorable. Let's give him a little pink tongue. So I've gone from creating doing patterns to uh See, and normally my cards have dimension, but you can actually really build with this. You know, you can kind of build up and do stuff with this. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. I'm just measuring, y'all. Don't mind me. Don't mind me at all. I usually you do dimensional cards, so this is a challenge for me because I'm always wanting to pop up everything on something to add dimension to it. This celebrate is nice and vibrant. You you can never have enough cards about celebrating, right? So this is more of a celebrate life type of card. Just gonna put it right there because it doesn't have to be right on. Look at that. You can pop that on a up on a card base and you're done. Krista Cobb said, My saying is perfection annihilates individuality. So true. That is so true. <laughs> you know what? I heard uh Einstein one time said, the ultimate misfortune is when theory outstrips performance. I like that. I do too. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people say that, uh, like Susan Stewart says, her mom's played piano by ear. She never learned to, to read music, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of people are playing. I play by ear also. But what happened later on, I started taking lessons to go deeper so I, I kind of did it in reverse and then started reading somewhat. I, I, read, I, read, I wanted to read well enough to be able to use a real book and to really get extremely, extremely deep into theory. So the classes, the kind of things I studied, 
uh, tend to be jazz. Because once I do that, I can apply it to everything. I enjoy the classical study because the technique allows me to approach anything that I hear in my mind. <laughs> Maxine. Yeah. Maxine Cave. She said, she said it needed bumpers. And then she said, I mean humpers. <laughs> no, that's a new one. I knew exactly what you were saying. <laughs> Those are super humpers when you get bumpers, okay? And they're asking me to do stitching on this. Why y'all in my you crafty? Knew she was gonna put some stitches Y'all up there. in my crafty uh, business here, telling me what my card needs. Okay, but I I think you're right though. <laughs> it needs stitching. <sighs> Tracy, we knew if we didn't know anything else, we knew stitching was gonna end up on, on that card. Okay, Kathy Champion. Is on here. The Kathy Champion. The okay. Kathy Champion. Actually, now Bill is going to start sharing some of your uh, birthday cards that you sent him. I am. Um, during some lives, so that oh, so goodness. that y'all can get some inspiration. Because my goodness, the cards I receive, people are so wow, phenomenal. Wow! Up there. Wow! I mean, I can't. I can't even describe it. I, the only thing I can do is to be on the live and to show you what people have created. I wish I could show you some of the sympathy cards. I just, I'm just not ready for that yet. But yeah, you might. The yeah, creativity you. in those cards. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. so heartwarming. Um, and I just thank everyone. Thank the you. love that y'all are showing. Some people say it our needs family. Juice. It needs some stickle juice. You, you, Why y'all up in my craft room? Why y'all up in my juice? <laughs> it needs crafty juice. Let's see. How about some blue? Oh, so Crafty has to go. All right, Crafty. Okay. Lee. Michelle Kerr. She says, will there be another sale on the stamp sets? Hmm. There will always be a sale. We just don't know when. Right. <laughs> we are planning something. We just don't know when. Yeah. Oh, I'm liking that. Isn't that cute? That is cute. Look at that little bit, babe. Look what that does. Let's see. I'm going to put a little bit of the clear, the diamond stickles on his nose. Let's see. Where's that diamond? Kathy Champion got me hooked on these. The diamond stickles. Thanks a lot, Kathy, for enabling me yes, with the diamond stickles. Yes, good to be enabled. <laughs> Bill, don't say that. And then when I'm up online... Oh, that's a good idea. Ordering stuff. Diane Solomon says, do you ever do stitching on an envelope around a person's name and address? That's a good idea. That is a great idea. It's a nice way to send some happy mail. Kathy Champion says, I'm afraid I'm not all that special. I just got to meet Bill and Tracy at the uh, Maidicon and Pigeon Forge and we bonded. Kathy sure is did. special. And her daughter. She's so lovable. You can't yes, help but love her. I was like, oh, no. We <laughs> talked about Kathy Champion. We actually talked about a bunch of people. But <laughs> on the way home, oh, I said, I love Kathy Champion. <laughs> Isn't she just the sweetest? Her daughter, too. So we're glad to meet her daughter as well at Maidicon. It's like family forever. Pamela, oh, you know Pamela what? Tabor is here. Here's another thing you can do. Hey, Pamela. What can you do, Tracy? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Where are, let me get one of the other stamp sets here. Here's what you can do. I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to... Now, you can do patterns, right? This is the Love You stamp set. But uh -oh. you can also take words and create patterns on your cards. And y'all may do this already. I don't know if I'm... I might not be showing y'all anything new. Y'all might already do this. But you can take words and add, just keep stamping over and over. So let's go ahead and try this. Right, Bill? Yes. <laughs> Do you know what I even said just now? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm being honest. I know okay? when my husband's... I know to say yes, though. I've been trained properly, okay? I know when my husband okay? is not listening I've to me. I've been properly trained, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know aside, my bread is buttered on, okay? <laughs> Susan Stewart has to go. Bye, Susan. 
Ah, y'all are funny. So Bill is reading the comments. I'm getting Down to the stamp. Said, at least I'm honest. <laughs> ah. Yep, I can tell in the in the sound of his voice whether he's listening or not. Mm. Amy Francis said you should do a trifold invited tutorial. A trifold in invite invasion, tutorial. maybe invitation, invasion, invasion. <laughs> invasion. Like invitation. about aliens or something. <laughs> in invitation, babe. I think that might be. Is that what you're talking about? Tell me if that's what you're talking about. Captain German <laughs> says she was fussy cutting out some fences today with baskets, eggs, and chicken. Hats. Oh, my goodness. Busy. You were busy. Y'all just busy. Donna Silas says she's been making paper today. What kind of paper? Making paper? Mr. Cobb's laughing at your invasion. <laughs> Ah, uh, y'all are funny. I think I've done a trifold card before. I have a tri trifold tutorial. It's not an invitation, though. Okay. I believe I do. Asia Rutley says she loves your blue nails. It's her favorite color. Thank you. You know what? And that that is now. That I'm thinking about it. Some of the blue. <laughs> to reach in the fall says when. Don't know. Oh, the shaker is coming. You knew she was gonna say it. No, I don't. I I didn't actually. Okay, there you go. I hope soon. We you know we've had some uh, some setbacks, so we're behind in a little in a little bit of everything. So I, I can't really guarantee dates and stuff. That's true. Just because, yeah. So you can. We just I just don't know. You know we're just taking it day by day right now. Oh man, Kathy Champion in large letters says I want y'all to know that your stamps. Are the best stamps ever to stamp, color, and fussy cut. Who said that? Kathy Champion. Oh, my the goodness. Kathy Champion. Wow, I really, you know, when I hear that, I'm like, man, that's like, wow. I'm just, I, I just, I'm just blown away when y'all say that because. Um, y'all hey, missing a whole bunch of comments, but I'm trying to go back. It's kind of hard. Yeah. Wow, that that means a lot, Kathy. She says that she hates the fussy cut, but you know what I think. I try to exactly do it like I would do it. So it's nice when when you're creating a stamp set and you're actually a person who's on the front lines who's stamping and saying, "I want to be able to fussy cut this shape out." And so while I'm doing it, while I'm creating it. If the lines need to be a little bit more easy to cut, I can tell my artist that, and he'll and he'll she come tells up. Me, she, right? She constantly say cleaner, cleaner. It's not clean right. enough. It just has to be cleaner. Right? Clean shapes. You know, we don't want to struggle over this. <laughs> we just want to be able to just cut and color, right? Or color and cut, whichever one. See, now this can stand on its own, right? By just, you know, hugs and kisses. Bill, who you didn't call my phone. Who is calling? You know what? What kind of professionalism is this? <laughs> Interrupting our live with his phone. Who knows me other than my wife? You know what? Forgive my husband. I told him to turn off the ringer. What kind of craftiness? Asia, we'll be sharing the numbers as as Bill starts to share. It once he turns off his phone. Well, that was my son. He's gonna call me back. Why well, can't you answer? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, Margie has to go. Hi, Margie. Margie is what? Bye, Amy. Now, what more important do you have to do, Margie, other than watching us live? <laughs> Asia Rutland says, have we received six? Have I received six? That's what I was yet? just I was just telling her that. See, he wasn't listening, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't listening. Uh, but I was close on your trail, though, wasn't I? You were, babe. I'll give you that. But only that. <laughs> Amethyst is la is la mowing. <laughs> Meaning, laughing out loud, right? I don't know. 
Oh, <laughs> I know what that means. He says LMAO. I know what that means. Okay, just let's leave it let's at that. Let's just say Lemoing, okay? <laughs> She's Lemoing. That's what we're going with. Uh, she could be Rolfing. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are too funny. I miss, That's why I miss y'all. Just fun times whenever we get in the craft room. Just unre unrehearsed, just authentic, unrehearsed laughter and just fun. Robin Renders just says, I love the way the acetate wraps around the stamps also. Thank you. That's a big plus um, when we were creating our stamp sets and we were going with the company. Something as simple as this that only a crafter would know. I've lost this so many times. And I knew that y'all could feel me on that when I say I've lost this other piece. They're normally not attached as like one. And so it makes it so much easier. So much easier that you won't lose that other piece. Yep. Thank you. So that was 48. A, I'm glad you appreciate that simple thing. Something as simple as that. She, Kathy says your stamps are the highest quality I own. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> She's like, I only own two. <laughs> I only have one, okay? But they're the highest. So at least I didn't lie. At least we... <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Man, that makes my heart feel good, you know? Boy, we got some stuff coming, too. We may have been not on, like, live, but um, we've been creating, still creating some wonderful uh, products for y'all that are coming um, in the future, stamp sets. That is super adorable. So you see how you can take your words and just kind of like do your own thing here, right? And I'm just going to do a little black outline on these just around the edge. So just because you don't have a lot of things, you can still create your own your own. Your own thing, right. Well, do, you, leave do, it do your own thing, right? Right, do you. Put it on some uh, different paper, some colored paper, and see what it looks like. Don't be afraid to... Don't be afraid to create, right? Most important thing is getting started. That's true. I remember, uh, man, I wish I had a picture of that thing. Uh, Candace, we have at my niece... She didn't have paper, and she was drawing this little girl. And the little girl, she drew it on a, like a garbage, like a bag you would get at Kroger or something from back in the day. The paper bags, not these plastic things, but she had the paper bag. It was the, one of the most incredible drawings I've ever seen. It was really incredible. Just on a brown paper bag. Yeah, it was really incredible what she created on a brown paper bag. I mean, oh. we were just blown away, weren't we? Look at this. Mini V says, Tracy and Bill, you have created and brought back the small family company that cares, in which the creators are users and know what's needed to make a great product. Thank you so much. And, and like I said, um, the possibilities are endless. You can do anything you put your mind to. And for me, I still feel like I'm a new uh, card maker. You know, because this is like probably my fourth year, possibly, with um, from when I always been a crafter, but with card making. Um, so I'm just, and it's something that I just fell in, absolutely fell in love with. Yeah, the chairman came up with a great idea. She was saying since she saw that acetate, she's gone back to all of her stamp sets and she puts an acetate on them. She uses a two inch piece of acetate and using double sided tape, she attaches it to both of the sheets. To try to make it work like ours. Oh, wow. That's a good idea. That's a great idea, Kathy. That's a good idea. You see what I'm doing, y'all, right? <laughs> Look what I'm doing. They're like, what are you doing? Because we exactly. have no idea. What are you doing? <laughs> we have no clue what you're doing. <laughs> Angel Rutland says, hope you're making a sentiment, Sam. We got quiet again. <laughs> Y'all got to let, let the element of surprise, okay? The element of surprise. We're so obvious, okay? Guess what, y'all? What else is happening? Another life event. My baby's graduating. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Our baby's graduating. She's 
She's going to have her degree. Miss Ariel is graduating. When I tell you this, what a journey this has been for her. Because my child was determined that as a teenager, if she makes it out of that hospital, college was going to be a breeze, okay? She if, sure said it. If she, she said, all I wanted, she told me in middle school, Mom, all I want to do is go to Georgia State and just be a college student. And when I tell you that girl. She graduates on the 8th. Yes, she does. She graduates. Maybe 8th. My baby graduates. She fought to get out of that hospital and finish high school. And, you know, the, she decided this when she was 12. So from 12 to 18 of being in and out of the hospital, she made sure she kept moving forward, getting it done, and taking names. So you're going to see a, <laughs> if you see a woman up in the stands all teary-eyed, that, that will be me, okay? Because my baby's journey has been just... You know, I remember there was a distant, distant, distant relative that came with a relative of a relative to the hospital. And uh, we were talking about what Ariel had, was going through. She kind of casually threw out there, oh, honey, looks like there's no cottage for you. Uh, So-and-so had that, and they couldn't do this, and they couldn't do that. And I was so pissed off. I was very angry. Because she was, I didn't feel like Because I didn't want to, them to put limitations right, on my child. limitation or some seed of negative a limitation in my child's mind. Right, like, look. I want nothing <laughs> to be an, a, an obstacle. I want nothing to be off limits for them. Right, and I don't want them to limit themselves because of something someone said. Even if it, even if it deals with sickness, I didn't want any limitations for my daughter, and so that's why we were like, uh, that person won't be coming to visit. <laughs> okay, because when we're in the hospital like that, in and out, it's game time, and we got to keep Ariel's mind strong. And this is this is just one of the. It's a proud moment for, for Kathleen us. Kathleen German said, "What happened to her?" In a nutshell, Tracy. Just Kathleen German. Um, to Ariel. Just you know. Ariel was diagnosed with Crohn's disease when she was 12 years old. So it was like sixth or seventh grade. She just started sixth middle school, grade. and she got really sick. And so, long story short, we were in the hospital for a good portion of her teen year. Her teen years. years what, what we no. thought would be like one hospital stay was a five year in and out of the hospital and multiple surgeries. So Including in a her, nutshell, her entire life yeah. of tests is removed when she was 12. Right. So lots yeah. of surgeries and my baby is feeling good and looking good. And she said, I remember one time she said in the hospital and y'all may have heard me say this before, but I'm going to say it again because someone might need to hear it. When the counselors came in and said, how are y'all dealing with this? Because Crohn's is a very ugly disease. It's a very painful disease. And Ariel said, I'm Ariel. I'm not Crohn's disease. <laughs> that was her thing. <laughs> That's basically all she said. And I'm sitting there like, huh? I'm sitting there as the mama divvying out the different medications and stuff. And I was just like, my child tells them, I'm not, I will not be defined by this disease. So, and now Ariel's modeling. She's invited to all these different events because Crohn's can leave the body sort of like, um, I wanted her to be really body, um, didn't want to have her, her to have like these self-confidence issues with her body and stuff because of the up and down weight. Crohn's is a really ugly disease. Yeah, it was but tough. she, that girl fought her way all the way through and went on that campus. And when I say she held down the grades, she was very active, doing all sorts of things. She's always been on the dean's list. On the dean's list. Always. And I said, I told her, tell your friends no limitations whatsoever. So she she's graduating next week, y'all. So we got this. We just got a whole lot of stuff coming up and um, lots of wonderful things happening. And so I told her, you tell your friends no excuses, okay? If you can take 17 different medications and go to school, then they can do what they need to do, you know, and, and make the grade. No excuses, right? And so, yeah, that was 17 medications. Guess how much my medication my daughter said, takes now? Zero, okay? Zero. 
So I prayed for this, that when we were in that hospital, that my baby would come out. I just left it in God's hands. That's it. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, she's, um, and she smiled her way through it, too. So that's just to make a, a short story long. <laughs> a long story exactly. short. A long story short. <laughs> that's how you look at it. Yeah. So we don't even talk about it anymore. You no, know, we don't. just gets her checkups, does her thing. I only think about and it. And she's so active too, isn't she, babe? I only think about it through my happiness. Yeah. But it's amazing how a few years ago I could only think about it through my sadness. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember it now. Hardly. She's such a positive person too. Such a positive person. Look what Linda Stilton says. Never let a disability a disability disable you. I am legally blind with three degrees vision. Three degrees vision. But There's nothing I uh, cannot do. Yes. Exactly. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Right Look how cute this came out. Patterns with words, right? Now, if you want to stick something else on here, you can. If you were to put something on here... Uh, you might want to put maybe maybe something like this. You can do something like that. You you can put Hartley, the dog, on there. You could do that too. Mm hmm. You can put Beardsley the bear. I don't even know what we call him. <laughs> anyway, we're making patterns. So here's what we got so far. And see, I can just take these and start adding them to a card base and putting some other stuff together. I don't know if y'all do that. You just stamp out a bunch of things and then go back and add more things to it. Let's see what else we have here. I'm getting ready to do something else with this. <laughs> Chris is hot. Chris the cop says, now, making a short story long is me. My husband says, if you ask me the time, I'll teach you how to build a clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that is too funny. Okay. Look at this. Okay, this is Season's Greetings stamp set. This is one of our first stamp sets. I think this will be great for like a male-inspired card. Let me show you. We're going to create a pattern using that star. Bill, we're going to create a pattern using the star, babe. Okay. You're supposed to say yay. Are you listening? You know what? You know what I'm thinking? What color do you want you to start with? You take this thing right here. And say this back, like these backgrounds you're making. Mm -hmm. And use that for the background of the shaker card. So it's time to do, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd throw it out there. You okay, can do that ahead. too. Yeah. There you go. We'll get to that. Someone made you an incredible shaker card They too. did. That's what made me think about it. <laughs> I don't know how to make it, but looking at it, my mind. Well, he feels knows like what a I shaker know card. He knows what a shaker card is, y'all. Mm-hmm. My non-crafty husband. I feel like, like like I could do it. I think you can. So let's take a smidgen off of here, babe. We're just gonna take a little bit off of here, just a little bit. And what color would you like your stars to be? If you were to make a masculine card, what color? Would you? I'm just cutting that paper, y'all. Don't even mind me, okay? <laughs> Don't mind me, Bill. What, what color? Okay, can you? Can, no, that, you know can what? you stop typing you and talk? Always ask as I type. What? I'm just saying. You just have to okay. pick one color, maybe two. Blue. Blue. Okay. What other color? Light, I said either I lighter said one. blue or darker blue. I said one, but guess what? <laughs> either. What about both? Let's see. Let me not drive Bill crazy today asking him too many questions. As soon as I type this, I can talk again. <laughs> if it was me, y'all, he'd be wanting me to type. Okay, I can talk. Now, what's the question? <laughs> Wanda Lewis says she finally caught the live. Oh my goodness. Hey Wanda Lewis. How are you? Uh what 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 is Ariel's degree in, Tracy? She is getting marketing and a marketing and journalism degree. 
Well, there you go. It's so different from when I went to school because I studied journalism. But it seems like it's just so different now. With all of the social media stuff. I mean, I was the card catalog queen, okay? <laughs> the microfiche queen. I don't even know if kids even know what the microfiche is anymore. Oh, I, I was a master with microfiche. Were you? Oh, my goodness. I was in the library. I lived in the library. Then I probably would If we went to the same school, I probably would have um, ran into you. Possibly. Yeah. If you'd have been in the library, you would have. Well, there you go. And I always was. <laughs> But you were at Michigan State, so. Hmm. Well, I probably would saw you when you ran in the Nationals or something for trash. We did come to Michigan. I might have seen you. We did. You, you didn't see me. I you were older have. than me, okay. Oh, so you said blue, right? Yes. Um, Something like this blue or, or darker? Maxine Cave has to go to the land of crappy dreams. Good night, Maxine. Dream some fun, th some fun stuff. Oh, yeah, this is going to be nice. I could already tell. Look at that, y'all. So now you're creating your own pattern, right? Yeah. You Bill, can do that for graduation, Bill too. said blue. You know what? You sure Ariel's can. colors are blue and white, kind of. Mm -hmm. You can keep going and make that become something for her. You know what I've been finding myself doing lately? Um... Like my daughter, Ariel, uh, I'm very proud of both of them, but for some reason, because I see her more, uh, I find myself wanting to get stuff for her, you know, like, and I don't want to make her wait, you know, instead of saying, oh, I'll get it next week. Oh, I'll do I'm getting it right now. I think a lot, the past yeah, we were at, had we, a lot to do with that. I just want to get it now. I don't want to wait. You yeah, know? we were in Ikea yesterday. <laughs> you were, I, I was like, oh, yeah, right we, now. we could come back for it. You no, know. she has to have it now. <laughs> she may take advantage of that. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to come back to get you, but that's okay. She appreciates it. Well, there you go. This is so cute. I'm loving this. So now you're creating your own little Maxine things says, using whatever color you want. Good night from the University of Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are just going back and forth with that. Oh, that's a good one. I love it. Well, in the UK, what time is it? I don't know. So you're really late. Maybe Maxine can answer that. Bill, did you want to try doing a pattern on here? Do you feel like stamping on that? No, because it's 5.50. Oh, and how, what time we have to? What time is we that? We have to be there at six thirty. You sure it's six thirty? Yes, a positive. How how have we been on this long? Don't know. It's what time is oh, it? Oh man, we've been on sixty eight minutes. Man, time goes by so fast. Kathy Champion says green was never one of my favorite colors, but lately I I am loving spring green with pink. Oh nice, Kathy, yes, Kathy, I love that color. I challenge you to think of the colors you hate. The most and make some matter. go in there. <laughs> don't think about it. if you just look at it and things that really disgust you. Just say this, 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 and this, and make something out of it and then post it on the gift basket crafter crafters appeal. Whatever it's called, gift yeah. basket appeal. Yeah, hey, I'm trying to say, hey, <laughs> gift basket um, appeal crafters group. That's okay. what I'm trying to say, but I, I guarantee you're going to be stunned at, at, at the end result. Oh, Kathleen German says it's dinner time, she's got to go. Yeah, okay, we, bye. Yeah, go we got to go take Cinnamon to the vet, and we're supposed to be there by... 30 minutes, and the traffic is going to take an hour. Good luck. Let me see. Mm. Jackie Baker says, good morning from Australia. I got to finish this one. I just love it. Let me just finish coloring this in. <laughs> you think the vet will understand? Hey, no. I'm late because I was crafting. I see. Here's the late fee. <laughs> <laughs> How many people are on here anyway? We have a hundred people with sixty-one thumbs. What? They must not like crazy. Adrian Rutland says you can do an amber effect and make the stars darker as you get to the doctor. Get to the who? Amethyst Labit says that would be orange or green for her. Don't like those colors. All right, Amethyst, I challenge you. Go orange and, and get orange and green. I need to see an orange and green something. 
Matter of fact, get them together at the same time. Go through the pain at once. <laughs> so you don't have to do two of them. An ombre effect would be really good. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Asia says, I meant bottom, not doctor. Asia, I must be rubbing off on you. <laughs> uh, you sure can. You can start light and then get just medium, dark, and then dark, or whichever way you want to go, right? That's so true. Debbie says you could take him a card, which makes maybe he'll be happy. Mm. Well, cinnamon, he's going to be happy. I always get kind of antsy when my cinnamon goes to the doctor. Kathy yeah, Jeffrey says she designed something today out of necessity. She was in need of a marker holder for her newer markers. I did it from scratch. I'll post a couple pictures on Facebook for y'all. We're looking for it. Amethyst, she's laughing. She says, right, get them all out at one time. <laughs> if you hate five colors, get all five of them at one time and do them on one card. Exactly. Now, you notice I am going in darker on these bottom parts of that because Asia just gave me an idea. Asia we, su says, we surprise called Asia. <laughs> Asia just got her stamp set. We did. We, we called her up. We surprise called Asia. She was looking at the screen like, I know y'all ain't calling me. This cannot be Tracy. And we like to do that sometimes. So if y'all ever. <laughs> if you happen to get a call. Hopefully you're in the same time zone. It was like, Tracy and Bill got the nerve to be calling me at 2.30 in the morning. We called also oh Crafty. Did, who, who did we call? No, we called. Uh, who did we call? Craft, crafty, craft Gal Sal. Yeah, we called her. Mm -hmm. We called someone one time and they were looking at the screen. They kept looking and looking. And she hung up on and me. she hung up as if. I know. <laughs> no, no, no. Click. And then she wrote me. She was like. Um, did I just call? Did you just call me? <laughs> she was like, oh my goodness. Call <laughs> back. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was fun, though. So y'all see what I'm doing here? Look at that, babe. Look at that fat. I see. It's That's so nice. I didn't know you were doing that. No, you're not looking at the screen. No. <laughs> that is cool. Uh, I like this. It's like the two-toned... Thing. Look, Margie Ryan said, I won't believe it's you. It's Ryan. I don't, I don't think she believed it was us either. She hung up and then wrote me. <laughs> I won't believe it's me either. <laughs> Someone's calling my phone now. It's Ariel calling, babe. I'll call her real quick. Can you believe it? She's calling me during a live. Okay. I call her back. We could call her back. Right now. Okay, time. so I guess I'm going to have to wrap this up, y'all, just because. Hello, honey. <laughs> y'all believe this? I'm on a lie. What is it? We're doing a live right okay. now, and my daughter's calling. Okay. So, uh, we're going to be here. signing you, you off in a moment. Here, take some. Tell our caller as soon as we get off the live. Okay. Send me the number. Text. <laughs> right. Y'all are too funny. Look, they're having a conversation, y'all. I mean, really? <laughs> I always answer my daughter and uh, my son. Yeah. <laughs> but no matter what I'm doing. Oh, thank you so much. I'm really liking this. This is fun. So, Asia, you gave me a little bit of an idea there. Uh, and now if you want, you can go in with, some, with your gel pen and do some little um, dots or whatever you want to do, right? See, I got to... Wake this up. You see that? Just those three. Bill is pointing to the clock and he's telling me we gotta go. Do. But I've got to I'm crafting. We gotta get cinnamon to his appointment. And this is so much fun. You ever have this happen? 
when you're on a roll. <laughs> Sherry Dim Turco says, that's your phone? Laugh aloud. In the car, I thought someone was honking. <laughs> Kathy Shepard uh, says, are y'all near Atlanta? Yes, we yes, are. Yes, we are. Look how, oh my goodness, I'm really liking this. That's cool. Yeah, Cinnamon's okay. He's just going for his yearly checkup. And I get to stay in the room with him. Hopefully he's he's nice and not naughty. Poor Cinnamon, I know, right? Our dog is ornery. They have to put one of those, uh, those cone things on his head. Yeah, we're going in a different direction. So we're not going anywhere into Atlanta. So what we're going is like... Contrary to the still, traffic. Yeah, so... They'll be fighting traffic coming the way we're going. I know. Look, Ron says she worries. Yeah, I know. We're just taking it for a regular checkup. So let me show you what we did. Bye, Donna. Creating patterns with our stamp sets. Right? Butterflies and stars and doggy prints or rabbit prints. <laughs> Whatever prints you want them to be, right? Oh, and stamping out on colored paper. You challenge yourself to stamp out on some colored paper. See what happens, right? Here's the other one in the blue. I wonder if it's because I have on blue nail polish where I feel like I need to do blue. Right? Don't know. The paw prints would look nice on here, too. On, like, the colored paper? Mm -hmm. I have to. I may have to try that. Okay, so, y'all, we got to go ahead and sign off. This you has do. been so much fun. It has. I always have fun with y'all. I have to leave because you, you, you're just about to get to the nitty gritty. This is the nitty gritty. No, you know, now, you know what? It's like, it's like when you're running and you're running, even if you're, even if you're in shape, you're running and then all of a sudden you're tired. You don't think get you the take second another win. step. You get your second you win. You get that second win. I can relate You to were that. about to hit the second win with cards. I, I was. That's when the creativity kicks in for real. Yep. <laughs> But that's okay. Mary to... Brault enjoyed. Good night. Oh, I enjoyed it too. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Okay, now we're gonna have to say goodbye. Kathy Aguilar, you. yeah, go ahead and watch it on replay. So we really appreciate y'all. If you want to get our stamp sets, go ahead to uh, mindlesscrafting.com. I just put the link just now. Yep, yeah, and um, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful <laughs> evening. So Sarah can or get night his check up or morning. Depending on where you are in the world. Exactly. <laughs> Take care, y'all.